Hey, everybody. Hey. Every <laughs> oh, my goodness. I still have the baby burp cloth on me. Yep. Here's where we've been uh, basically yeah. the past. I know. I kind of like it. It feels... <laughs> my Dan brother Cindy, Mike would always cook, you know, with a towel. I love it. On him. I love it. Chef Mike. Anyway. Well, welcome uh, to... <laughs> Coming so to you live from Scott and Jen mm -hmm. Kreider's house. Yes. Uh, baby update. We yes. had a baby Tell girl, me. mother and daughter and dad and big brother and sister are all good. You want me to tell them the name and pounds no. and all that? We okay. can let Jen and Scott Jen and report Scott that when it That's is right. time. That's exact. But everything's good. But this has been our... All is well. This is where we're at. In fact, um, <laughs> we're, we're doing this right now because we have a window right. between... Uh, feedings. feedings. Yes. So mama is feeding. Yes. And we're like, let's get this done. Because... I got the best picture of her today, her <laughs> office sitting in this chair mm -hmm. on the phone with Anna planning next year's calendar 22 mm -hmm. with a two year old a, on the floor. Uh, two, two day. Two, two day. Two day. Sorry. Yeah. Two day. See, we've, we've, we've you know, got a little deprivation exactly. going on. <laughs> totally. But, but not like the parents. No. It's oh, great. Being we're, we naughty. are nap duty today. Naughty so we are Poppy. watching the baby yes. so the parents can nap. And I got to tell you, just mm -hmm. one of the things I fell in love with this girl. She's so good. Oh. She's such a great nanny. And as a seven, it is my job to keep a two day old, not as much, but the five and mm. the two, keep them entertained. Absolutely. Poppy is on. Poppy is so. on. All right, we got a big show for mm -hmm. you. And I want to say up front before we get going, these next few weeks, we just need some grace. We need <laughs> you to be patient with us. It could be coming to you on Facebook. It could be coming to you on Instagram. Ooh, eh, it yeah. could be coming to you from Sandy's phone or Don's phone. Mm -hmm. But we're going to do our best to go 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern, 9.30 Brazil, 5.30 Pacific, and in Australia. Tomorrow. That's right. Saturday night. Uh, we're going to do our best. Mm -hmm, indeed. <laughs> Once again, you can always find us on social media. You can find me right here on Sandy Patty Facebook. You can find me on Sandy Patty YouTube. Nice. Um, we had a fabulous thing surface last week. Um, it was the La Voyage Ballet right. World Premiere. Right. Uh, it was done probably 20 25 years, years ago. Maybe, right? We were, were we and married yet? Yes, we were. So mm -hmm. it was early. It was so amazing. Beautiful. So um, we posted that on Facebook here. And also, I think Thomas posted that over on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. What an amazing experience. Yes. So 25 years old, but it was fantastic. So thank you for, for I don't even know who posted it. Found it. But we, we got it. Yes. We found it. Um, but you can also find me on Instagram, Sandy Patty P, and on Twitter, Sandy Patty P. Although Instagram and Facebook are what we interact with y'all the most. Where can we find you? Speaking of mostly, uh, <laughs> D-O-N-P-E-S-L-I-S. Oh, you can see my little, little ho, 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 ho She's shirt. ready. Although she it looks leaves. like a hoe, right? No, okay. Anyway. Did I, I'm sorry. No. That was... A sleep deprivation. Okay. Moving along, Don. Take, take it with the highest moment. Instagram <laughs> and Facebook. And uh, coming at you most uh, days. Today was a, especially a good post, and that'll take us into some of the yeah. subject matter we want to talk yeah. about. But most days, thank you for the likes, the pokes, the posts. Mm -hmm. We love letting you know just what's going on in our world. And we would show you that said two-day-old baby. Mm -hmm. But the parents in our family, we always let the parents with the story post. Yep. So it's really up to Jen and Scott mm -hmm. when they come to after about a week or so yeah. of this. Because they she went in and just did it natural. Yeah. I mean, Oh my gosh! Like and I got to be in there, boss. And it was so sweet. I've never been around a natural <laughs> childbirth, because like, my mom, yeah. you know, yeah. couldn't, yeah. and I yeah. couldn't, and yes. um, it was. I, was it just? I just was, it was like more, this to my it, daughter. Like was it beast. more than you thought? Give us a, just so a, here. Out, I'm gonna know. sum it up. This yeah. is what I and I said this to yeah. the, all the midwives yeah. and the nurses. Doula. It is the most intimate experience done in community mm. Mm. it was just it's good mind-blowing and my daughter if i didn't already love her i i don't know how i could love and respect her more she's a beast she's a beast. boss 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 yeah like she did it she freaking did it and <laughs> scott was oh. unbelievable right there just right there and um like I said, all are well, and all three are very 
hungry and tired and we may even get doing some, the things. We may even get a little sound sound bite from that. Sound bite. Maybe it would be a little Let's, bit of a... It's a shout out! Maybe. <laughs> That's good. So, <laughs> wait, tell them where these came from. Well, again, we've got my little uh, little uh, traveling uh, sound <laughs> gear. But again, one of our wonderful friends, Todd from Las Vegas, is a Dan and Cindy regular. He was in the jingle business in Dallas, made a career there, a successful career, moved to, has the Voices of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We'll get a website and get Thomas mm -hmm. to put that up. If you need jingles or anything, I mean, every one of these. So I get this email and says, hey, we want to do some jingles yeah. for you. I tell Sandy, she right. goes, oh. unbe so what okay. So said, so just we'll send yeah, what we'll you're send. thinking. So listen to this. Ready? <laughs> it's Sunset with Dan and Cindy. Perfect. Which so. is awesome and leads us into why we call this show Sunsets yeah. with Dan and Cindy. Sunsets, we both love the actual mm -hmm. sunset. Mm -hmm. I, He loves it for just that eve time of the day. I love the backsplash of the sunset. And uh, we're also in the sunset years of our life. But just because we love the sunsets for the very reason, yes. the backsplash is the most beautiful. Yes. It's not done. It's just beginning to light up the sky. And for you early morning risers, that happens Apparently first. that happens, it happens before, before the sunrise. Before sunrise. Who knew? Who oh, no. <laughs> But Dan and Cindy came to us from a skit that we did at church a few yes. years ago. Yes. We know full well we are Don and Sandy. Right. We know this. Um, we haven't forgotten that much yet. Um, but we um, did a skit. Don got snarky. I said, what'd you say that for, Dan? And he said, it's none of your business, Cindy. So it just kind of became the one Cindy. Do you know I went through the Starbucks line the other day? Yes. And um, they asked, if, could I have a name for the order? And I said, Sandy. And I don't even think they knew. They just probably wasn't clear. Yeah, and I Cindy. don't speak so Southern. They put Cindy. They went, all right, Cindy, we'll have your order right available for you. So <laughs> anyway. Well, you know, she didn't tell you that she be. ordered a Tai Chi. <laughs> well, I told them that last week. I wanted a chai tea. And then when she pulled up, they were going. But I said, I would really like a like tall a ta tai, tai Chi. <laughs> anyway. That's how Dan and Cindy was born. Oh, now, tell us about the Almanac and oh, like right. what well, uh, this okay. week oh, we've right. been Give celebrating. Give us a little bit. It's an Almanac moment with Dan. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he, well, he's going to have way too much fun. Way too much. But that. today's very special. And in lieu of this the Almanac, week, yeah. this week we're going to totally. move into, we had the 246th birthday of our Marine Corps, Semper Fidelis, to all those Marine families, Marines that Let's may have served. Pipe us a little hoo Yeah, just put a hoorah or a Semper Fi mm -hmm. if you served someone in your family. And I learned this uh, from a veteran, but today is Veterans Day. And, well, um, so technically, we're recording on Veterans that's Day. That's correct. We are recording, so today... When you listen to this, it won't be Veterans Day. It won't Day. be. So sorry for that. But Veterans Day will be a little bit of our, our focus this week, and we'll talk a little bit about that, that it was the uh, really Armistice Day, Cindy, was the Tell beginning. Us, Dan. I will be happy to. Why do we call it Veterans Day, Why, you Dan? ask? Why do we? Well, because it began after World War I, at the end of World War I, when they signed the treaty between the Allied and Germany on the 11th day at the 11th hour <gasps> in the 11th month. Oh! Wow. So, isn't that cool? That's why it's November 11, you uh. ask. And it was known first as Armistice Day. Mm -hmm. Now, this is really interesting. That was 1918. It only took Congress 20 years, how apropos, from 1918. Right. Don't say oh. it. Till 1938 to make Veterans Day mm -hmm. our official holiday. Wow. Right? That's really awesome. Now, I had some information here. I'm not quite sure why it's not popping up again, but well, let's. Well, you're let's looking for that. Go ahead I and say tell something. a funny story. Tell him. So, tell Thatcher, him, our oldest, he's yes. eight. Yes. He, if this uh, is good. he at his school, if he knows a veteran, he is allowed to bring the veteran to school yes. today. Ah, uh, yes. His grandpa, Keith, yes. Colin's dad, um, was in the. Well, it would have been post Korea. It would have right. been post Korea, but Vietnam. He was an army, right? Yeah, he was yeah. an army stationed in Germany. Yes. So Thatcher asked his papa if he would come to school. So papa is show and tell today. Is that not Isn't so that the best? 
Thatcher, if you're watching, we just want you to know watch we're so watching. <laughs> we are so proud of you, Thatcher, Edison, Trent, mm -hmm. because you know what? Veterans, all veterans mm -hmm. gave some. This is the same. Mm -hmm. All gave some, but some yep. gave all That's so true. that we could be free. So, Thatcher, Yay. you're right on you with that. Celebrate now, Keith Trent. Tell us. Here are three fun facts that you might not know. That World War One again, Armistice Day, it was called Armistice Day before Veterans Day, right? In 2010, now that's this is old data, but there were 21.8 million veterans mm. in the mm. U.S. Mm, 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 mm. 21.8 million. Okay, so this is, to how many oh, does wow. it take to keep us free? About mm. 21.8 million. Mm. Of those, 9 million are over the age of 65. It used to be that we were losing so many of our World War II. Now mm. it's moving to Korea mm -hmm. and our Vietnam veterans yeah. that we must say thank you to yes, so very absolutely. much. Okay, now get this. Nearly 2 million, 1.7, of the veterans are women. <gasps> I love that. So, you know what? It takes all of us. Yes. To keep America safe and free, someone oh, freedom is free. Women. Someone has been standing on the wall. Mm -hmm. So today, uh, as you see this, and if you've done this already, please, if your family has a veteran, we'll talk mm -hmm. about that. I think well, it might, just go for go, it. Well, I and, wanna, and while we're talking yes. about our favorite veterans, why don't you just put in the chat? Yes. You know, your of, favorite, just mm -hmm. the name of the veteran or the name of someone who's active or. Yes. Um, and let's just see all the names and celebrate all of them. And we'll Tell lift them who, all up. Yeah. Well, my father, Sam, and I really have to say Vera, who he called Vita. I put mm -hmm. a picture up today, circa 1942. Ooh. It was taken when mom took a train, and I have the letter of dad giving her specific instructions in 1942 to get on the train. He was on leave to come all the way from Huntington, West Virginia oh. to Alameda, California, Alameda, California. Dad was in the Pacific Theater, South Pacific, wow. on the USS Cleveland. Uh -huh. Char Dad would always go, Charlie Love 5-5. Five five. <laughs> and I always knew as a kid, as a baby. Mm -hmm. Charlie Love 5-5. Five five. But my mom needed specific train instructions. Well, because it's not like right. you could text her the information no, at no. the last minute. It minutes. was a letter. I have the letter oh. from Huntington all the, the train. And to the day my mom passed, she loved taking train rides. Mm -hmm. I go back. But if you happen to check out my Instagram, that's my parents, mm -hmm. the Greek parents who raised me and adopted mm -hmm. me, 40 and 41 when they adopted. They were both World War II, Sammy and Vita. Mm -hmm. But thank you, Dad, we for your service. We named our youngest after Sam. Sam Pestle. That's it. Yeah. And now we he says agree. Sammy. He loves Sammy. Sammy. That, that's, that's they about, called your dad Sammy, right? And that's, they yeah. actually called him Buster. Buster. So Buster and Vita. Okay. That's 1942 for All you. Right. Well, us. I have uh, two veterans. I want to give on. a shout out to okay. one is Savannah Milligan. Yes. Who has uh, retired from the uh, Marines. Yes. yes. And then Brenda Jean Warner. I don't know if that's her middle name. I call her Brenda Jean Warner. Well, we better Warner. play the music. Just, yeah. Let's you know? give a shout out. Well, wow, come on now. It's a shout out. All to right. Brenda Warner. Yes. Brenda Warner. Um, happens to be married to Kurt Warner, who played for the St. Louis Rams. And one of many my others. favorite, mm -hmm. my favorite quarterback, and I've got a lot of favorite quarterbacks. I could wheel off, you know, Marino, Tarkington, uh, Favre. I, I think go, you might have a man crush on Kurt Warner. You know what? And if Kurt, if you're watching, <laughs> I do not mind because not only are you the one of the greatest American yeah. stories from paper towels to the Super Bowl mm, success. Mm. You are a good man. Good man. You love your wife. Mm -hmm. You love your children. And Kurt mm -hmm. Warner, if you're watching, you're my kind of guy. You <laughs> yeah. are a man of character, and I may have a man crush on Maybe. you. Maybe. <laughs> but, you know, Brenda was a Marine long before Brenda was part of Kurt and Brenda. Yes. Brenda served. Her dad had served <sighs> in the Marines. And I will never forget Brenda talking about um, at Women of Faith. She, when she had to leave the Marines because of an injury to her oldest son, um, she said, honor, um, honor, strength, and dignity. She served in the Marines, but when she had to leave the Marines and stand in line for food stamps, she still stood in line for food stamps with honor, strength, and dignity. 
And I that has just embedded wow. in my heart and I love her so wow. much. Wow. So I should give you a shout out, Brenda Warner. You betcha. And we also want to tell you that in December, an American underdog, which is the movie You've got kind to of see. chronicling oh. the the story. It's really a love story. Well, in the Kurt Warner story, Brenda and G Brenda and Kurt. Yes, but it chronicles Kurt's journey through being rejected quite a bit for many NFL football teams, and then when he was older, and they called him the old man. It was he was right. older. It was the right time right. for his experience, oh. his gift, and how the two of them have been such a team and still are to this day. Yes. So uh, don't forget to watch and look for Kurt an Warner. American underdog. Family man, you know him as quarterback. Let me tell you, that's just the beginning of the story. That man, he loves his wife, yeah. he loves his kids. They are He's a, a good team one. like I have never seen. And honestly, the movie was filmed in Oklahoma City. And they were in quarantine, we didn't get, we to, didn't see get to see them. Can you go figure? But anyway. Go figure, but love we're you. gonna give you Thank another you, one. Brenda, and we're gonna give service. you another one. And for the movie, An American Underdog, give another shout out. <laughs> Come on, run more. Now the movie and... It's a shout out! So, um, it, let's do Tech Tip. Okay, ready? She's and got our one. window is closing. If you want to, it's up to you. So I have zero Tech Tip, but what is coming in is at the blessing of the parents. Oh. And this, this is baby girl. Scott, can you tell her name? Mm -hmm. Her name is... You gotta say it first. Chloe Olivia Kreider. Chloe Olivia Kreider. Seven pounds, 14 Look ounces, 21 inches. This. And she's beautiful. She looks so much like her brother. Yeah. She's, she's a right beautiful. now, what you're seeing Look. is the milk coma. <laughs> That's it. It's a Guys, milk coma. We have Mouth nothing. Full open. My tech tip is really a parent tip to the Scott and Jen sleep when she sleeps. So let Poppy and Nani, we can do this. And uh, you guys take a nap. We've got nothing better to show you we or to say. That's it. And this is what so, God does. It's so good. It's I don't know if blessing. anyone will hear us, but let me just remind you that yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, 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 Forward yeah. is good. Forward okay, is good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay yeah, easy. Got it. Uh, <laughs> let me just remind you. I know you'll listen because she's on the screen. Yuletide's coming up. Tickets are on sale at IndianapolisSymphony.org. Okay, and um, I actually okay. head there okay. Monday the 15th of in just a few days oh, to begin to practice, oh. so we can't wait to see you for that. <gasps> he just volunteered to bring her in the show. I got nothing. I'm just totally... I just, I don't even know what to say. Um, I know what to say. <laughs> okay, so let me say a couple other things while we have their attention. So Indianapolis Symphony, uh, dot org. And get your tickets for Yuletide. You want to see this? I'll jump in. It's and awesome. Say, no, the best we're, Christmas we're show. It. It's so on good. the planet, and oh. she's going to be. But we're going to be again. I'll say this: a little bit separated oh, this year. I don't need to say anymore. I'm, I'm got the microphone right now, <laughs> but I'll be up there on the weekends, and we'll figure this out. We're going to come to you. How to so, do? Yeah. Well, it may be so, how to do Instagram. Zoom, it may be Zoom. Instagram. It may be live. Who knows? But stay with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to do our best to come to you every week mm -hmm. because. You've been so good to stay with us. So good. And there's always that little button down at the bottom of where you're watching right now. It says share. Yeah. And you hit share and it'll say to your feed. So if you hit share, it will get all the people who follow you. So help us reach about, I don't I don't even know. We, yeah. We we don't care. Uh, we just, just glad love doing you it. Tune the in. other thing is, um, it is cruise. We're getting closer and closer to the cruise, March yes. 19th through, through the 26th. 26th. You can book right now with confidence for only one more month. Yes. Um, it's hard to plan ahead. Yes. People, uh, it's so scary. Yes. But right now, if you book by December the 9th, mm -hmm. um, you can get 100% refund. Fantastic. So whether something changes now. on COVID end or the ship's end or your personal end, as long as you've got it booked yes. by December 9th, mm -hmm. Um, you can book with confidence, get 100%. We've got 30 seconds left. Listen, yep. I'm going to shift into tomorrow's shift. or crossings. <gasps> Listen. You're going to want to make sure crossings.church, yes. 9.30 Central, 11 Central, Reverend John Ortberg mm -hmm. is going to be with us speaking yep. live at crossings. You're going to want to join us. So please yes. tune in, sign in the chat, 
Tell mm -hmm. them Dan and Cindy yes. sent you. And uh, either one of the services, he'll be live in the chapel and in the sanctuary mm -hmm. and in the venue. John mm -hmm. Ortberg with us tomorrow. Yeah. Crossings. Dot church, but in honor, we are a big fan oh, of John Ortberg. Well, and one and of my just, favorite, I've got my book, Who Is This Man? Yes, where he unpacks all that Jesus brought to us. Yeah. I've got it ready for him to sign. Mine. I'm going fanboy <laughs> on him. I'm oh, going, I, but that book let's is powerful in honor of our sweet mm -hmm. Chloe Olivia <laughs> Kreider, born the 9th of November, mm -hmm. seven pounds, 14 ounces, 21 inches long, <laughs> and perfect. Sandy's going to quote a beautiful prayer. <laughs> For all of us, not just the wee ones, but to remind us that you are a masterpiece, a new creation he has formed. You're as soft and fresh as a snowy winter morn. And I'm so glad that God has given you to me. Little lamb of God, you are a masterpiece. And that's for all of you out there. We are all his well-tended sheep, yeah. as it says in Psalms 100. Mm -hmm. Blessings to you this week. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Yes. Remember, next week, 7.30 Central, mm -hmm. 8.30 Eastern, 9.30 Brazil, mm -hmm. back in Cali, 5.30 p.m. Yeah. and in Australia. Tomorrow. Love Bye, you, everybody. veterans. Thank you. Happy vet Thank a veteran today.